I want to share the final finishing conversation for this segment. On the 2nd of April, the year 2004, between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., the Lord spoke to me and visited with me in a very, very mighty way that I actually ascertained this repentance trail and the mission with which he was sending me to bring forth a repentance revival across the ends of the earth. And I'll share only a few elements of that vision for now. But in that vision, all of a sudden, I appeared before the tremendous throne of God. And the throne was covered with his total glory, complete glory. It looked like more of a mountain-like glory that covered the throne, a huge mountain of his glory. And then he made me know that he that sits on the throne was seated on the throne. And then after a short while, then out of the throne of God, from there came John the Baptist. And he placed John the Baptist on my right hand side. And John spoke with me about the Lamb of God that was slain for the sin of the world. And John said, Go tell the four ends of the earth to repent and turn away from sin and prepare for the coming of the Lord. In a short while, then the Spirit of the Lord opened my eyes further and he showed me events that would take place in Israel and I saw a lot of Christians in aircrafts going to Israel and changes that will take place in Israel, leadership changes that will take place there. These are prophecies I gave way back from 2004 when I said it at that time a government will come, it will be a right-wing government, the whole world will be shocked how they are going to negotiate with it. And many other landmark events. Now, in the year 2008, that prophecy was fulfilled. Because that is the first time the Israeli government confessed that since the creation of the state of Israel, they had never seen such an influx of Christians into Jerusalem coming to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Israel, 60th birthday. And that is the huge influx of Christians that the Lord has shown me in that very vision of 2nd of April 2004, when I saw so many Christians in aircrafts going to Israel. And there was the change of government to a right-wing government. That was fulfilled January 2009. To date, when in 2005 I kept saying it's going to be Benjamin Netanyahu too, Benjamin Netanyahu too. But in the vision, immediately that government came in place, came into place. Then John the Baptist pointed with his right hand towards the glory of the Lord. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God that took away the sins of men. And when I looked, I saw the most glorious, most powerful, the most anointed Lamb of God coming out of the glory of the Lord, coming to bring the church, to take the church, coming to bring the church to the kingdom. This prophecy I've given from 2004, it has been fulfilled with many others I've not shared here. But the most important take home message here is the proximity with which we are sitting towards the coming of the Messiah. And that is what spikes this message with a sense of urgency. 
because after the lamp, after the change of government that took place into a right-wing government, then the Lamb of God came, which means we don't have much time between now and the coming of the Messiah. And that surely makes the Lord bemoan the church because she's not even getting ready. She's not preparing yet when even time is over. The centrality of repentance in today's church cannot be overemphasized. It's obvious. It's absolutely obvious that only repentance can purge away sin and decay from the church mm -hmm. and create way, a new vessel for the latter most anointed, most authoritative, most powerful visitation of the latter glory of the Holy Spirit in the church. Mm -hmm. That was promised. That is in the Bible. Even in Haggai chapter 2,